What's up everyone? It's Iceman Oz, aka J, and in today's video, I've got for you guys the question, is Battlefield Hardline dead? Now it's a serious question because whether you care about this subject or not, you gotta understand the results of what can happen if a game is dying. Now, it can result in a lot of things, devs not uh, supporting the game anymore, and it can result in a lack of finding servers, which is something I've had a serious problem with because I am from Australia after all. So to start off, to ask whether a game is dead or not, you have to see the numbers. And really, by the numbers, it's not quite as big as what you would expect. For example, Battlefield 4 has about 120 to 130,000 people on at one time. Battlefield Hardline has about 40,000 people on at one time, and this is across all platforms half of which are on the PS4. However, PC is the least popular, which is surprising seeing as Battlefield is traditionally a PC game, right? It's one of those things where they wanted to add it to the console so it could gain more popularity. Unfortunately though, for those not on the PlayStation 4, we generally find it hard to find a game. One last thing to add regarding the amount of people playing Hardline, the people who are playing it are still playing it, like they're sticking to this game, which is a really good sign because what it means is new players will keep coming in and the current ones are staying which means it will only grow. I always make this example about Hardline when everyone was bashing it. I said Counter-Strike Global Offensive when that game first came out no one played it like let's be real like no one it was on no one's radar but it slowly built up and I think it is possible although unlikely but possible that Hardline can do the same thing. The only problem is Hardline doesn't really have a crowd to go towards. CSGO really appealed to the competitive scene and building up yourself to to maybe one day becoming, you know, this pro player and stuff. Hardline doesn't have that, so it's got to find something that separates it from the rest and really latch on to that. And just to draw it back to Counter-Strike, why is that game so popular? Because it's simple in its approach. It's got the weapons that you need to select. It's a simple three-lane maps for the most part. Just a very simple approach in what it does. You know, there's no crazy stuff. There's no over... There's no 64 players on the block. And while the block is an excellent map, I mean, it is... A, again, that's a simple map. It's a three-lane map. The problem is, there's not enough of that. It was almost like they were trying to be Battlefield and Call of Duty at the same time and really did neither. And this is in no way me bashing the game. I'm a big fan of Hardline. I like what it does and if people want to see it as me bashing it, I'm not. I don't play it a lot, but that's mainly because I've got Battlefield 4 and Hardline only really had a year of development time, so it only makes sense that I play the game that's had the most development time because it's the most polished. Not to mention, I didn't get premium for Hardline and that was my personal personal choice, mainly based off the fact that I had a premonition, <laughs> so to speak, the psychic powers are with me, uh, I had a prediction, I should say, that I thought Hardline was really going to sort of go down because Battlefield 4 is hot right now, two years after its release, it's still going strong, and I was thinking, who's really going to switch over? I mean, only the biggest of hardcore Battlefield fans who just want a couple of extra guns. The thing about this game is that it's not that bad of a game. In fact, it's quite good at what it does. It's very casual, and it appeals to that audience, and I understand why they tried to do that. It was really one of those plays to go towards a huge audience, and and that's fine, but for the most part, a lot of people who play Battlefield have been around for a while now. You know, we know what's up, we know what's going on, and the problem with Hardline for people, what I believe, is that it's way too similar to Battlefield 4. And you'd expect nothing less of a game that's had a year of development time and is running off the exact same engine as Battlefield 4. But there it is, guys. I just want to make a video about Hardline real quick. I'm not even sure I'll be able to make another one just because the game isn't that hot right now. And as a YouTuber, I can't make videos on a game that no one watches because who's like there's not enough people playing the game for me to make videos on so it's just one of those things yo so uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about Battlefield Hardline are you still playing it what's going on did you get premium are you regretting that purchase let me know in the comment section below but there it is guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please like share subscribe and peace <laughs>